If I had governed like this, I would have destroyed Rome by now. Six traitors have ridiculed the Roman Empire in your palace and then fled. And no one can do anything about it. Emperor, I suspected them from the very beginning. Especially that arrogant Maximilian. But it was that same arrogant Maximilian who humiliated and ridiculed all of us. He chewed up the very beliefs you were defending and then spat them out. And it was you, Diocletian, whose incompetence allowed them to escape. But they will never escape my clutches. Your Highness, rest assured, they will be arrested and subjected to the most severe punishment. Listen here, Diocletian. I am leaving here today and heading towards Jerusalem. If I receive news that you have arrested and punished them before my arrival there, you will be spared. If not, it will be the end of Diocletian, the commander of the 5th Legion of the Empire of Rome. Maximilian, Diocletian's son-in-law, was a Christian. Five or six of his advisors, it seems, were also Christian. But nobody knew. Who would have thought that people who seemed so kind and caring were actually so foul and two-faced? And what about the way they disrespect the Emperor of Rome? That is far worse. But I don't think they are bad people just because their beliefs differ from ours. There are people who worship our gods, but are foul. Like Julius. I cannot lie. I find I still respect them greatly. I do not know. I really do not know. I would have ripped them to shreds if the Emperor had allowed it. If they were punished right away, they wouldn't have had the chance to escape. People are beginning to believe that their god saved them from the wrath of the Emperor. This is just nonsense. How could they have been rescued by a god who cannot even be seen, and whose appearance we do not recognize? I don't know what kind of god that is, but I do know that our gods were incapable of defending themselves and punishing those traitors. I hope I do not offend you by saying this, but it seems their god is more capable than ours. Your Highness, this man says our gods should have taken revenge if they had the power to do so. He says that our gods are incapable. It is not a question of the gods ability or inability. You see, your highness, I say that a wise person should never abandon common sense. I have been thinking to myself for a while whether it is possible to avoid a war between those who worship Jupiter, Apollon, and the other gods, and those who worship the Lord and his son Christ, cannot this hostility be turned into a friendly relationship? You mean to say there is nothing wrong with abandoning our gods? and worshipping the Christian God instead? I believe that what we are fighting over is just a name. And this is a meaningless battle. I don't understand. You mean they accept our gods and have merely altered the names? I think that is exactly the case. In actuality, there is no difference between those who worship the Christian God and those who worship the gods of Rome. The Romans worship Jupiter, while they worship God, which are just two names for one being. 
We believe that Apollon is the son of God, and they believe that Jesus was the son of God. Those two beliefs are the same. I don't believe what you say is true. Maximilian and his friends were speaking of monotheism, and they do not believe that God has a son. If what you are saying is true, we face an ominous threat. We must prevent the spread of this kind of thinking. Otherwise, it may encourage the worshippers of Jupiter to convert to Christianity. Your Highness, what is the problem with people choosing their own religion? Oh. What we want is for them to have faith. Oh, the God's name makes no you difference. You fool! The treasures of the gods are in our possession. The offerings and gifts given to the gods are all ours. If those who praise the gods of Rome convert to Christianity instead, what do you think will happen to our authority? But people do not think like we do. Whether we like it or not, people will convert to Christianity in droves.